Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. Jackie has asked how does she add more options or more um, attributes, variations to a product. This is one of her products on her website and at the moment she's got sizes small, medium and large. Now I'm not sure exactly which product it was that Jackie wanted to modify but let's just take this one as an example. So what we'll do, we'll go to the products list and here is her product. Now I don't actually want to change this particular product so what I'm going to do just for the purposes of this demonstration is I'm just going to do duplicate so that I can create a copy of this product and then um, I can show you how you would go about editing it. Now of course when you're doing it in the real life situation you won't be creating a copy so ignore that last bit that I just did um, and you'll actually be editing the one that you want to to change. So I'm just going to change the name of this to Christine Testing so it's really obvious which one it is that I've changed. Um, now when I go down here I can click on Attributes and I can click on this little arrow here and it will show me that the three size attributes that we have for this particular sock is small, medium and large. Now um, I can click on an empty space in here and it'll show me what other ones are available. So um, let's just take a, a wild guess and say she wants to add um, extra large, okay, this XL thing here, so she wants to add that. So that's now been added to the list of um, options that will be available, but there's a few more steps we need to do. First we need to save that, so we let the little wheel spin so it's saved. Then we go to variations. Now when we go to variations, I'm just going to say close all because it makes it a little bit easier to see. You'll see that we've got the small, medium and large, but we don't have that extra large that um, we just added. So what we want to do is we want to click on link all variations and we click on OK. And it's going to have a look and see well what other variations can we add and there's one variation added. So now, and I'm just going to close all so you can see them all, we've got the extra large one added. So we've still got small, medium, large, and we've got the new extra large one. Now, we're just about finished. The next thing we need to do is, um, I'll just check what we've got here. We've got the stock quantity and we've got the price, okay, and we've got an SKU. So um, let's make sure that we've got all those things in here. So we want um, Butterfly Kids extra large. I'm just making this up because I'm not sure exactly what it is that she wants to do. And 19.95 will make the same price as the other ones. 19.95. Of course you can fill in whatever other attributes you want to put in here. And sorry, any other um, values for these things for this attribute. Um, and then let's just close all again. And I just want to show you a quick little trick. Let's say we don't want the extra large one to appear at the top. We want it to go to the bottom. So I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag that nice and slow down to there and let go of it. And now that's the order that it should appear in. So the next thing to do is to go publish. Let's check we're in Kids Cotton Socks. Okay, so we'll go away to her website. We'll go to Kids Cotton Socks. Remember we didn't edit this one, we actually edited the one called Christine Testing. So here's Christine Testing. And we should be able to see four options now. There we go. Oh, there you go. How about that? That extra large thing didn't appear. So it didn't come out in the right order. So we'll go extra large, small, medium, large. Now let me just go back and check what did I do that didn't get that to move to change the order. No, that's okay. Actually, we, the other way you can change the order of the attributes, I thought you could do it in there, but the other way you can change the order of the attributes is to go to Attributes and then go Configure Terms. We've only got one attribute for this particular website. And then here you'll see we've got Small, Medium, Oh, here we go. These are the small, medium, large we had before. So small, medium, large. And you'll see that this XL one is actually above it in this list. So to make it appear below, we would have to drag it down to there. Um, I don't want to do that in this particular case because this is just an exercise. But um, And also that would change the order for all products that actually use those attributes. So I was wrong in that bit that I showed you just before with the dragging and the dropping. I thought that would work there for just that product. So sorry to confuse you there. But, um, but anyway, that's the principle of how you add 
a new option to a product. So now I'm going to go and delete my Christine testing product and um, I hope this helps you. See ya.